Well, I had a lot of questions today of, about how do you interpret price action today, and I want to show you a couple of uh, charts here. Uh, let me just show you. This was today on uh, on Thursday, the uh, 11th, and you see the price action comes down here and dribbles along, and the uh, initial Pesavento bar was here, and it went to here. Now, this is a previous low. Uh, I should put the uh, support and resistance on there. It's not going to show up. It's very close to that particular level. Now these are very uh, compressed bars to give you an idea of what's happened. But we've had a lot of testing of this particular level, 1072.50 today. Now what you can see by this bar, one of the things that's happening is super high speed trading by the by the hedge funds these days. And so the market will tend to go up, hit the moving average, and stall. It'll go up a point or a point and a half to this level with a previous resistance or a resistance level, return for a profit, and then go up. Now, as I expand these bars, sorry, um, and move it back, what you will see in here is you get a move up a doji, a move up a doji, and then you get kind of a retracement. This didn't turn red here, but a lot of time it does. And then you'll see a couple of testings of the high and the previous lows and back up. Now these hedge funds are trying to uh, scalp for a quarter point. And after the market runs so far up here, it basically ran from 1074.50 to 1076.50, about two points, you'll see a lot of hesitation and profit taking. Now when you do see this, you'll notice, I'll expand this, you'll see that the price comes down very little and the ergodic goes down a lot. That is because you're taking off these higher rising bars and putting basically flat bars in there causes the short term ergodic to come down. Now one thing that you shouldn't really take that retracement, you weren't far enough away from the moving average. And secondly, let the market retrace and now when the color changes right here, get back in and go long. And it doesn't always work, but one, two things you're always looking for. Here is a divergence setting up. So you had a short divergence here, but you went nowhere, okay? And if you got in there, uh, you're really not going to get um, uh, stopped out up here. But the other thing to notice is the market and the ergodic starts to turn over. You get a lot of price bars the same way. So when I was working with a student in Japan today, um, you could see this stall and stall and stall and you knew pretty much it was going to go down. Now this was the high of the other day so it didn't quite make it and it turned around and you could go short in that case. In this case it was a very nice move and again we talk about the price action comes down and stalls for three dollars, come down and sits there for four bars, comes down, sits there for two or three bars, all of this is in one spot and comes down and sits comes down and sits. Now how do you know when to get out? Well, if you just watch the short term ergodic, the short term went under the moving average, stayed in, this was a little hiccup right here, right when everything was trapped between the moving averages, turned back over, stayed under the moving average, and down here you got the Pesavento bar, you got the color change, and the crossing of its moving average should have told you if nothing else to get out. Now often these things don't rocket straight up and they'll come back and sit at this level for quite a while. So this is kind of using the price action. Wasn't moving very fast today, but these kind of moves are caused by that rapid or high speed uh, trading uh, programs put in by the hedge funds. So if you just stick with the ergodic and the color change and staying underneath or above its moving average, you got a great chance of uh, making a very nice profit and you noticed <coughs> sorry it went right back to the midpoint of the first resistance